Hello, folks. Welcome to part two, two of my thank you list, as well as my SmackDown review show. Again, I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And one of these days, oh shoot. Well, this goes in the collection. Mm. Aluminum, yes. One day the girlfriend will be here, or a girlfriend. That something to that effect. But if not, it's just me, Hobo Tom, Hobo Catch, who's just there, kind of taking a nap. Because actually, I'm going to go to bed soon. Because actually, I can't believe I'm, I've gotten so much done. But I still have so much to do, so I'm going to start this SmackDown review show again with all my thank yous. All the 38,000, 3,800 people. Numbers weren't that. But still, 3,800 is nothing to sniffle at. So I have to go through the thank yous for all the people that commented. I think I'm going to still have a couple left over for... My next show tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Well, tomorrow or Thursday. So, you know, I'm going to make my predictions video, and I'll talk about that later. So, let's get this show on the road, as they say. Sergio Ortega. He just told Nikki Cross to take it all off. And then, again, I do apologize if I get anyone's name name wrong. I'm trying. Noel Diaz, you're kung fu fighting. Maito Alberto Oh my F T What just happened? F H Carl Colon V. You guys get way too creative with your names. You're my tag team partner.
see, let me scroll up my list so I can kind of keep track myself. Wow. You guys don't make this easy for me. But I do it anyway for free. Yahaziel Rodriguez. This is madness. Mundo madness. Adam Anarcho or Anarchy, I can't tell if it's the knee or no. You were that luchador on a forklift? Luis Bermudez. Dun, 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 Jordan has back. Oh my God. Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Jesus! Go there! Holy shit! Andros Galinado, you are the honorary member of the El Generico band.
Doc Ward the 10th, you always win by a dirty pin. See here. Need more to go, and I'll be done for today. Sir. Oh wow. DK for Sally. Cause you are going like this. You have your own Brock Lesnar brief box. Oh, John and Leon, you are playing the air drums and the air guitar. Wow. I should see what they're doing on YouTube. Bree and Dan couple. You just got the six count.
Christmas hair. There we go. I am done another round here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, wow, I got thirteen. So, unfortunately, there's going to be eight more people left. Trust me, folks, I am getting to them slowly. But you shall be getting yours probably either tomorrow or Thursday. When I do my predictions, I've, and I don't know, you, you might see Dr. Tom show up. Hobo, uh, El Vagabundo, Quattro Hobo, Ocho Cinco, I don't know. He might be banned from the show for life. Again, thank you, everyone. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Let's talk about some SmackDown. And this was a weird SmackDown because Raw wasn't that great. It was good. It was a, well, it wasn't even good. It was okay. SmackDown felt like a real go home show. That wow. I actually probably could have missed if I really wanted to. Because not much happened. Let's get into things. Um. Let's see if I can finish this in about 10 minutes. SmackDown starts. Charlotte comes down. Woo! I thought, a promo, I thought it was going to be a match. I got a little bit excited there. I honestly forget if they did. Oh, wait. I don't think they did. You're right. I don't think they did. They didn't do... Um, and I already did my kind of little shout out to those involved in the Dayton, Ohio... El Paso, Texas incident. But Charlotte came down in a ring gear and I'm like, whoa! Opening match right off the back. Yay! But however, it went from a thumbs up to thumbs down. Because Charlotte just cut, out, cut a promo with um, Chris Stratus. Trish kind of winds up, they, they, they drop back and forth. Trish just slaps her. It's kind of funny because Charlotte comes because of a promo. Says, take a look at all my achievements, and you see Trisha's Titantron go. Eh. And that was Ray versus Dolph. The first match, um, Dolph, did the, Dolph did the mocking entrance to Goldberg. Ray comes out afterwards, and Dolph just beats up Ray before the match even started. It was just, he just beat him up, super kicked him, left him on the outside. Didn't even start. Really? Rey Mysterio is like the jobber to Dolph? And in that fashion? Oh, wow. That was a piece of toast. I think this was the one SmackDown in a while where it kind of felt like two hours, too. And Ali comes, then Ali, Ali, no, Mustafa Ali, or Ali comes out now. I hate it when they abbreviate those names. They just call me Tom, they call me Hobo. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to lose some weight, too. I have to cut some tonnage. I've been... Breakfast have been too big. I eat my free eyes. But it doesn't do me any good either. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Uh, but uh, Ali comes out. And he kind of promo during the break. But they're still trying. And it was weird because he could hear the commercial. But he grabbed the mic talking. I'll, I will say this. At least the people that paid the money to see the show got to hear it. But it was just weird, and then also in the during the break there was like a roll up pin, quick roll up, and I'm like, wow, if that was a botch, 
there's always a two percent botched chance. Like Dolphin be like, oh. So he could have won without the match actually really going far. So it was it was it was weird. Um, but I tell you what, other than that, it was really good on the outside of the ring. Uh, Dolph was just being the, the, the snot out of Ali. That was really good. And then, oh, I think Dolph did that like flapjack move. He put some extra stank on it because he forced Ali face first onto the mat. That was good. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen that out of Dolph. Now that I think about it, and then again, that was he put some stank on that. Then Ali makes his comeback. I mean, he gets a, he gets a rolling X factor. Um, it was a weird ending because Dolph kind of like headbutt him, and then hit the super kick. I'll tell you what, for what I saw, I was entertained. It was, it was a good match. They bust out with some new stuff. And I always like that when they bust out with some new moves. So therefore, even though Dolph won, I wonder what's going. I have to think about that for tomorrow. And it was a good cheeseburger match, though. Then there was a bunch of promos. There's a Roman Reigns recap, how, how people have been trying to murder him. It was uh, Seth's beatdown by Brock Lesnar recap. A quick little Roman promo. Uh, he was in a room with Kayla. I don't know what good that does. Uh, then they had their Harley Race. Then the SmackDown Harley Race. And I already put my thing for Harley Race on my on my Raw show, so I'm not going to take up that much more time talking about that. Then the next match was Natalia versus Ember Moon. Ember was just being Natalia for a while until they got to the outside. It was kind of good, but then you're like, wait a second. So Natalia got got her to the outside, beat up, beat Ember Moon up, put her in the sharpshooter, and. Took the double count out victory? Took took the double count out? I don't know. WWE's really beginning to bury their female talent. I mean it was a double count out. That was a can of soup. I will say this, though. The crowd, at least, was not chanting CM Punk every time. So, I forget if they were in a different venue. I think they were. Or, I think they were actually in a different state. I, I forget where. But then, Bailey comes out, forces Natalia off Ember Moon. Tries to help him. Ember, Ember's like, no, oh, leave me alone. I'm going to fight you. And you can, you can hear people chant, hug her. That was kind of funny. Uh, then there was a Kevin Owens show with Shane McMahon. That was okay. Um, it, it just broke out to a fight after after some words were exchanged. Nothing big. Uh, Elias comes out, jumps Kevin Owens, sends him off. The chain comes in. Shane with a leg sweep on the table. Um, <laughs> I like the phrase "punches and bunches." And then he did that sliding. Coast to coast, he didn't jump up. Shane stands tall. Wow, first slam is going to be predictable. Then there was a Sami Zayn. Oh, I'm almost done this. Then there was a Sami Zayn promo. Uh, he says how he's going to do Alistair Black. He's going to he's going to fix Alistair Black. Yeah, good luck to that. So it was. I guess they're not having this match at SummerSlam. Sami Zayn versus Al Alistair Black happened here at SmackDown. Uh, Sami was, was kicked. Out, he just got kicked out of the ring. Like, Alistair Black is such a strong striker, he just kicked him back in the ring. He just does his little flip. He didn't go right, right to the sitting position. But he just kind of landed, sat, sat down. Hey, you know what? Sometimes the thing doesn't feel right. And you know what? I don't want to see Alistair Black hit, hurt himself on a showboat move because that's ridiculous. Then, as soon as Zayn gets back in the ring, it starts to do much better. Sami Zayn has to learn how to keep in the ring and do wrestling. He has that good-looking backbreaker, too. Uh, once 
Black kind of gets his second win. He just keeps on striking him. Uh, he just kicks, kicks poor Sammy's head off. Black is too much for Sami Zayn, especially in the striking capacity. He picks up with his foot, hit the black mask. Uh, Sami Zayn eats another loss. Way to bury El Generico, folks. It was okay. Yeah. It was a ham sandwich of a match. It wasn't bad. Predictable is what they were supposed to have, so I don't know. And then the Shelton Benjamin, he just looked confused. He was asked a question. He kind of looks around. Well, yeah. They didn't do that for a while. They're coming back to it because I guess people are curious about it. Then there's another Firefly Funhouse. Yes, yes, yes. And Porcus the pig's there. <laughs> Porcus looked dead. And the Ramblin' Rabbit looks absolutely terrified of Bray Wyatt. Even good Bray Wyatt or heel Bray Wyatt. Yeah, the healing Bray Wyatt. Instead of the hurting Bray Wyatt, this was the heel glove. Even though it's it's not that kind of heel. Even though Bray Wyatt is the heel who heals. Indeed. Between bunches and punches and the heel that heals. That's actually a pretty nifty title. So this... Punches and bunches. The heel that heals or hurts. So that's what he's going to do to Finn Balor. Then there was some, I guess, local indie talent that Elias was running down. Something about musical instruments. Then it was a new day. Yes, it is. Versus Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. And I was getting excited because they were, I think they were going to give this match about half an hour. It seemed to be. They teased me though. WWE, I do not like being teased that much though. So it was pretty good. Uh, wrestle, uh, between, started off with Daniel Bryan and Xavier Woods. It was fun. It was like wrestling 501. Those two are amazing. Daniel Bryan though, they get the better of that exchange. Um, that, of course, prompted Woods to get the hot tag to Big E. And Daniel Bryan, before that, got the tag to Rowan. Oh, the two big men are the ring. Yes, yes. Two real agile big men, too. Fly, hoss, fly. Uh, Rowan just... And actually, Woods... I think Woods was in there for a little bit. Um, Rowan just tossed Woods all over the place. Rowan's a beast. Biggie's so strong, but compared to Rowan, Biggie's nothing. Um, there were some good spots. Uh, Biggie got did get the stretch muffler on Daniel Bryan going after the knee. Rowan just overpowers everyone. The thing I didn't like about this, it, I understand kind of now why it ended this way, so the New Day can actually keep their belts. But then Rowan decides to fling the stairs at, at I think, Xavier Woods. And the rest like, no, 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 can't use steps. Ding, ding, ding. We got to tell the death to finish, baby. Nobody wins. But then the good thing is, Daniel and Brian and Rowan just continue to be, beat up Big E and Xavier Woods. To their heart's content, then they eventually just, whenever they were done, they left. I'll tell you what, it was still fun. This was a cheeseburger. Of a, no, no. I hate the fact of that stupid DQ. It's a ham sandwich.
Roman Reigns backstage in like the the loser locker room. It had to be earlier because the New Day was already back there, or someone who looked like the New Day was back there. Might have been the loser locker room. Pulled his buddy Murphy inside and said, "Hey, I saw you. Just fess up." Or he's like, "Buddy Murphy's like, I didn't do anything. Oh, I didn't do anything, mate." Like, listen, you can just be honest. Say you screwed up on the forklift. I didn't touch no forklift. It's like, well, if you didn't do it, you know who did. Tell me now. I didn't. But if I did knew who did, I wouldn't tell you. You know what? I can see why Alexa Bliss dumped you, Buddy Murphy, because you're way too easy to get secrets out of. It was you know, it was told to Roman Reigns after Roman like kind of like pinned him against the wall. Tell me, Buddy Murphy just was like just like Dude, put me to sleep. I'm not telling you, but he said I saw Roman. So we'll see what happens. That was SmackDown. So I'm gonna finish this video up so I don't have to make a second one and, and start really doing some creative copying and pasting. So again, this Wednesday or Thursday, look for my predictions for both NXT and SummerSlam. Um, Saturday, I'll be doing my NXT RRR show. I cannot show this stuff, unlike Triple Mania, because WWE will be like, you're out of here. I'll get so many copyright songs, the copyright police will show up. Roman Reigns might have thought he drove, drove the car to, to hit him or something, too. Uh, same thing with on Sunday, SummerSlam. Jeez, that's going to be a long freaking night. Um, I'll try and get the majority of that. We'll see what happens with work and stuff. Again, it's going to be an RRR show. Maybe I can show like nine seconds of match, maybe. We'll see. But to thank everyone for watching, and have a good night. Bye.